S S. I have always been really, and pardon the wind, uh, it is a little windy today, so we may add subtitles on this video. I will try to speak as clearly as I can. Lovely car here. I've always been really curious about them. Um, I know that it has the LS2 from the C6 uh, base model Corvette, which is very fun that it shares that LS platform uh, with the sports car uh, from Chevy of uh, the same year. Uh, you can have a truck SUV and a sports car with the same engine parked next to each other in your garage, which we actually have right now. We've got a 2011 C6 Corvette over there, which we've had this parked next to. It's been a very fun uh, game of uh, pretend Hot Wheels kind of make a garage thing. But yeah, overall, it's a great truck. Uh, roughly 400 horsepower, I think six liter V8. Um, the truck is fairly unmodified other than a resonator delete, which I am a fan of. Personally, I like to keep everything stock, but that was something that the previous owner did. Um, and he also has an LED touchscreen display that you can play music, Bluetooth, do your maps through as well. Um, let's do a walk around to look for imperfections. Uh, starting up front, pretty solid. We are missing uh, this grill piece here, but the chrome is still there. Same with this side. There is no uh, mesh plastic grill. Not really something major, however. There is a little bit of kind of a bubble here. Um, it's that large, so quite small. That is really the only imperfection in the hood. You get your typical kind of tail uh, headlight cracking, fogging, um, Nothing too crazy, they're not yellowing, so I'm happy about that. Again, front of the car looks great though. You do have like minor, minor, minor hairline scratches here and here. Rubber is good, it's got Toyos all around. You've got your chrome wheels. You do have some pitting in the chrome uh, in various places, but overall the wheels are in solid shape. Glass looks good. When we purchased the car, it was heavily tinted, even the windshield. Um, so we did remove that tint on the front windows and the windshield. Um, again, you've got these kind of rain guards and we'll roll up the window. You can see through this one that the tint has been removed as compared to the rears. Uh, on this side, you've got your SS badging, six liter LS2. This is a more substantial scratch here, unfortunately, um, as well as this but that is probably the most substantial cosmetic flaw as far as scratches goes. Rear driver looks good. The door handles are a little bit loose. Uh, I've seen that this is fairly common on this era of GM products. You do have the same pitting in the chrome on the rear driver wheel as well, um, but nothing too substantial. Coming around to the rear quarter, we do have this chunk of paint missing a little bit smaller than my thumb unfortunately um, so the driver's side does have some cosmetic imperfections for sure the glass all around looking good though you've got this rear wiper which i will fix back into its place here there we go and then uh yeah you've got kind of uh, this aftermarket chevy badge with a single black line rear cladding trailblazer assets badging a tow hitch and Again, a little bit more uh, paint missing here. The fun part about this car, again, as I said, is the resonator delete. Uh, it sounds incredible, as you'll hear in the video. Do have a little more here, unfortunately. Um, coming around to the passenger, looks good. Little more itching, scraping there, nothing substantial. A little more here. Uh, tail lights do look great. Got another fingernail size imperfection there. Uh, again, rear tint, rear passenger wheel looks good. Got those matching Toyos, uh, less pitting on this one. And then, yeah, front passenger, not really any imperfections. You've got your SS badging, a little bit of a scratch down there. Glass is in good shape. Front passenger quarter. We are missing this, uh, wheel well liner here, um, just one section of it, because we we've got it up here, just not down here. Uh, not sure what happened there. This is how we purchased the car. And then this wheel is probably the most substantially pitted um, around the valve stem, unfortunately. But again, uh, you know, nothing that little chrome repair couldn't fix. 
Coming around to the interior, we'll head into the cockpit of the Trailblazer in the center. I love the uh, driver's seat and honestly the interior of these, these Trailblazers. You get this cool badging. We've got a paint matched tachometer there. Uh, I do love this dash display. Um, fairly simple GM, you know, mid 2000s GM interior though. SS badging here. SS badging here with suede um, butt and backrests. The rest of the, the interior is leather and uh, a little bit of plastic. Headliners in good shape as well. Um, happy to see that. And we can confirm that the sunroof functions. Coming around to, let's see if it's locked and it's not. Coming around to the rear passenger, pardon me. We've got our build sheet here, um, which I will include in the photo gallery along with Trailblazer um, documents. So I will just leave those right here. Passenger looks good, no imperfections in the leather. Um, the rear console is in good shape all around. Um, again, passenger. So we do have a creaky, creaky, uh, Hinge here, again though, odd because there is no rust, so it could just be a, a lubrication, a lack of lubrication in the rear. Great shape, carpets look good, seat backs look good, the leather on the rear seats look good. Um, everything is in solid shape back there. Pardon the door. Front passenger, again, great shape. You've got your big LED screen covering up uh, most of the functions and features, but otherwise really solid interior. Very pleased with it. All the seats are in great shape. Door cards are in great shape. Glass, dash, um, really not any issues uh, that I'm seeing. So let's get to the party piece, the engine. I know we've already done a cold start, but I will open up that gorgeous LS2 for everyone. There you have it. Lovely looking six liter LS2 V8. Um, just sounds incredible with that resonator delete. And uh, yeah, very pleased as to how she looks. So thanks for watching. Trailblazer SS. I have hardly, hardly driven it. Turn here, temp 
pumps look good. Um, the voltage meter is not reading currently. That is the one thing on the dash that's not functioning, but uh, everything else is doing what it should be. Get on the gas a little here. And uh, yeah, we'll give the sunroof a try. Let's look. 